Am I moving forward? Yes. 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 Sorry. Ah, no, come <laughs> So are we ready, people? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, yes. All right, can we have silence, please? Sorry, excuse me, please. Sorry, please. The hall is small and every sound moves. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen of the press. Mm -hmm. Today is a happy day for Nigeria. Um, you recall that last week we had a meeting here and the organized private sector and the subnationals have also held their various meetings with Mr. President following the submission of the tripartite agreement to Mr. President. Labour came last week. They had meeting with Mr. President. They adjourned, asked for adjournment for a week to go and consult further. They did those consultations. They have come back today and we have met with Mr. President. We are happy to announce today that both the federal government and the organized labor have agreed on a, an increase on the 62,000 Naira minimum wage. The new national minimum wage that we expect Mr. President to submit to the National Assembly for legislation is 70,000 Naira. But that is not all. There is also a boost, like Mr. President has assured, in ensuring that massive investment is going to be made in the area of infrastructure. There is also a deepening of the investment of the federal government in renewable energy. More money is going to go into the acquisition of more buses, the CNG buses. Nigeria is going to be more CNG compliant, according to the president. We are moving in this transition to renewable. And all other things that Mr. President has assured Labour, the issue of SANU and NASU is also going to be looked at. And we are happy, we are very thankful of the role that the organized labor has done today. They recognize the president's role in ensuring, or the federal government's role in ensuring that we have the local government autonomy, and also ensuring that both the organized labor and the government are on the same page today. They have seen the magnanimity of the president. And today, the leadership of labor said they didn't come here for negotiation, not at all. They came here in that deep sense of patriotism to ensure that Nigeria remains united, Nigeria becomes more prosperous. And it's in that spirit that they are in agreement with what the federal government has done today. We want to thank Labour for their patriotism. We also want to thank Mr. President, the federal government, the subnationals, and the organized private, uh, private sector for going through this painstaking effort, but also ensuring that at the end of the day, Nigeria is the winner for it all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today um, has uh, actually come um, very well for all Nigerians because at least we see an end in sight. Mr. President assured all Nigerians that he's their president and would not disappoint, and he has shown that this afternoon. Recall that Labour uh, saw Mr. President last week and they asked that uh, you should give them one week to consult more. And of course, at the end of the day, the consultation came very fruitful because Mr. President said he has to be a father, that it's not issue of law who is right or who will uh, blink the first, that he is our father, like he always, always said, that uh, we should end the uh, the issue of give me 1,000 and add 1,000 and all that. That uh, first and foremost, that the review of this minimum wage policy has to be reduced to three years. That is five years is too long a time to get any minimum wage review that is not very uh, wealthy. And was, of course, that uh, labor should look at uh, the indices of uh, the economy and accept a uh, 70,000 Naira minimum wage. And of course, that it has to be reviewed every three, three years, not more than that, of course, so that we're able to evaluate and see whether our economy is picking up or whether uh, something has to be done further, considering the sensitivity of the issue. And of course, uh, he promised and asked that uh, 
the Minister of Finance, coordinating the economy and uh, budget, and the economic planning should make sure that they go back to books because he has the uh, discretion to look into of Nasu, Asu, and Sanu, and, and all that, and so that the, their money uh, should be paid, and um, they should work out the modalities, whether it's 50% or whatever, but that he has given that waiver to be paid because, of course, that it's issue of uh, no work, no, no, no pay, and uh, that that should has to be led to re rest. And apart from that, I believe other things uh, that was discussed was President reassuring Nigerians that he's not going to uh, rest. She should, he, he is working diligently to make sure that uh, our economy recovers, that uh, that has to be taken into consideration, that he's not going to joke with the economy and welfare of uh, Nigerians. Just for clarity, did you say the president um, uh, touched on the issue of the ongoing protest by some? That's why he said that they should, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Minister of uh, Finance, uh, education was there, and then uh, economic planning, budget and economic planning should go and work out the modalities uh, to pay their, their money. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. But they have said it on. <laughs> Sorry, please move forward a bit. Concurrence? Yeah. From your own. The way you say they want to teach. What transpired? How do you translate everything? Look at the camera, please. Well, uh, we were here last week and we are here now. What they have announced in terms of the amount of uh, 70,000 happen to be where we are now. So now. But the good thing about it is that we will not wait for another five years to come and review. You know, rather than accepting on a figure that you wait for five years, it's like you have to now negotiate even two times within five years with a view to going up. That is one of the reasons, you know, why we decided to reach where we are today because of the proviso that you know you can review in the next three years uh, the other one we came with other issues in the basket like the issue of sanu nasu and others especially with that front by the commission of police fct we brought it to mr president and talked on the need you know for that matter to be addressed and magnanimously he asked the agencies concerned to work out the modalities for the payment of uh, those people, those workers in the uh, universities. So, you know, uh, uh, so far, that's where we are. So we need to, although he promised some incentives, like the CNG, whatever, which will uh, lessen the burden that the Nigerian workers are passing through. But you can see that uh, we are taking this uh, well with mixed feeling because of the situation of the economy, but we have to move ahead you know, despite uh, the situation and the negotiation can linger, you know, coming from uh, 62 to 70 and then uh, with the promise that we we'll come back soon to negotiate it. You know, we are taking it back to our constituency to see how we can get a buy-in. So that's what has transpired this afternoon, except there's another question. That means you can can't say you have you have Sorry, can I interject at this point? Would you allow things to speak? That will take questions. So yes, it's 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 we need to move a bit. Look straight to the camera. Okay. Uh, yes, um, just as been said by the three previous uh, speakers, um, uh, the Minister of Information, Minister of uh, State Labor, as well as the NLC President, yeah, um, they've laid the account of what transpired in today's meeting. 
um, the president made a pronouncement of uh, 70,000 Naira uh, that uh, by next week that he will be, they should put finishing touches and do the transmission to the National Assembly. Uh, but why this became a catch? Because uh, we from organized labor, we have been pushing that the issue of uh, five years review is too much, that a lot of um, economic indices may have changed because we are in an era where things are moving very fast in terms of uh, both uh, macro and microeconomic policies. Uh, but um, with also the caveat that this is going to be done every three years, I mean three years, the next review will be three years. And uh, after that pronouncement, we from Labour just has been said that, well, we have received uh, what the president has uh, has promised uh, from both ends. And as I said that well, we made uh, we made a case for both the Sanu and uh, and um, and um, uh, Sanu and Nasu. We made a case for them that the president should, as a father of the nation, should look at it compassionately and do um, and and. So that we will not have a case where universities will be closed again. You know, that is actually a problem because uh, it's the children, your brothers, my brothers are attending universities. I'm not sure that the kids of the bourgeois, like um, those standing behind us, whether they attend these universities, we don't know. So after that appeal, the president uh, actually um, uh, said that they are going to, no, I mean, I mean the Minister of uh, State Labor, uh, Minister of Information. Uh -huh. Uh, so, uh, at the end, uh, he said he was going to look at it and uh, they should report back to him, as has been reported. So, we are quite excited with that uh, because for us, anything that we keep the university shut down, we will not allow it to happen. We do everything possible to ensure that the issues are resolved amicably. So, we are waiting for the final outcome of that. So, that is um, how the meeting went. Then also, we also, the issue of student loan as well, we also, uh, yeah, we commended the president for that, but we said that the money should get to the people that are targeted, uh -huh. the, uh, the student loan, that it should get to those that are targeted, not a situation where the children of the rich are the ones who are also able to access the student loans. The parameters must be put in place so that uh, the children of the poor, those that cannot actually afford school fees, should be the target. And they also said they will, they will look at that as well. I think generally, those were what, uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah, so, sorry, by CNG buses transferred in the meeting. Thank you. I appreciate it.